The M346 Master is one of the most important candidates to train future jet pilots. Besides, it has a high potential to play a crucial role in many combats of tomorrow. Ten air forces have already chosen the aircraft and its future seems to be even brighter. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the M346, the fruit of the Italian mastery for jet trainer light attack aircraft. The M346 Master is the latest example of Italy's long-standing jet trainer light attack aircraft tradition. In the last 10 years, it has competed against very potent rivals. Except for the US Air Force's TX program, the M346 managed to beat them. What are the factors behind this success? To better understand the answer, let's look at the historical background and features of this aircraft. Italy was one of the pioneers of the works on jet aircraft. The Caprona Campini N1 made its maiden flight on August 27, 1940. But these efforts could not continue because of the conditions of the Second World War. After the Second World War, Italy quickly became a part of the new Western world and began the development of new jet fighters again in the early 1950s. In a little while, the Italian aviation companies realized that competing with powerful rivals from the other Western countries was not wise. On the other hand, focusing on simple light attack and trainer aircraft would be more profitable. The Italian aviation companies have achieved great success in the international market with many aircraft such as the G91, MB326 and MB339. In the 1980s, all major western countries were working on a new generation fighters. So Italy quickly realized that a new generation trainer would be required soon. Just then, the USSR was collapsed and new opportunities arose. The new Russian Federation had skillful aeronautical engineers, but no money. Also, this country was far behind the modern avionic technologies. Moscow was highly, even desperately open to establishing partnerships with the West. The Russian Yakolev company had been working on a new jet trainer since 1991. This aircraft would compete with the MiG-80 for the Russian Air Force's requirement. But the Yakolev was experiencing some financial difficulties. The Italian company Armaki, today's Leonardo, saw the opportunity and offered a partnership. They signed a cooperation agreement in 1992. The result was an aircraft called Yak AEM-130, which made its maiden flight in 1996. But the Russian financial support was less than satisfactory. Also, the operational requirements of the Russian Air Force were different from those of Western countries. So, this not-so-happy marriage ended in 2000. The M346 was one child of the Italian-Russian Yak AEM-130 joint program. The other was the Yak-130, whose NATO reporting name is Mitten. We should add that a natural child called L15 would be born later. After the divorce, the development of the M346 experienced some setbacks. First of all, Armaki had to reconfigure the aircraft according to the requirements of the Advanced European Pilot Training Program, which is also known with its unofficial name Eurotraining. Besides, the usage of advanced composite materials and titanium on the airframe would be increased. These two factors caused constant changes in the maximum takeoff weight of the M346. Yet, determining the maximum takeoff weight was one of the base criteria to design an aircraft. Still, this problem was not crucial to nail the program's fate, causing only delays. Basically, the M346 was a highly modified version of the Yak AEM-130. Also, it had the Honeywell F1-4 turbofan engines instead of the Lotariov DV2s. The aircraft's mock-up was unveiled at Paris Air Show 2001. The first M346 prototype made its maiden flight on July 15, 2004 which was fitted with the same landing gears as the AMX to reduce the costs. Four years later, the first low-rate initial production aircraft produced in the final configuration was rolled out. The RMAC engineers increased the proportion of composite materials and titanium. They also optimized the wing spars and fuselage. With these changes, the empty weight was reduced by 700 kilograms. Also, based on the aerodynamic design, 
the fuel tank had moved 80 centimeters forward. Besides, during the design process, the engineers specifically worked on reducing unit and operational costs. The M346 was introduced to the Italian Air Force's service in 2015. The M346 has an aluminum alloy center fuselage. The cockpit section and rear fuselage of the M346 are made of reinforced carbon fiber. Kevlar is used in the tail cone, fin root and fin fillet. The fin tip, nose cone, flaps and air brakes are made of composite material. The M346 has the power plant with dual channel FIDEC and a full authority quadruplex digital fly-by-wire flight control system incorporating a HOTAS design philosophy. The M346 can perform maneuvers of plus 8 to negative 3G and its maximum angle of attack is over 30 degrees. So, the aircraft is highly suitable for air combat training simulating the modern jet fighters. If demanded, the M346 can be equipped with a pilot-activated recovery system which conducts an automatic recovery by returning the aircraft to a steady and level flight path when activated. The M346's glass cockpit with three-color LCD multifunctional displays is compatible with night vision goggles. There is a head-up display in both the front and rear cockpit. The helmet-mounted display is optional. The M346's embedded tactical training system, shortly ETTS, offers the advanced mission management suite. With the modern human-machine interface, this suite can generate a tactical scenario with threat and targets, computer-generated friendly and foe forces, onboard sensors and weapons. So, the M346 can realistically represent the last generation jet fighters such as the Eurofighter Typhoon, Rafale, Gripen and F-35. Also, the aircraft performance levels, flight characteristics, onboard systems and 5 hardpoints offer significant capabilities as a companion trainer, red air, and when armed for operational air policing roles. The M346 has air refueling capability. Leonard Company states that per flying hour costs of the aircraft are one-tenth of those of the Eurofighter Typhoon. The M346 made its first supersonic flight on December 18, 2008. It exceeded the speed of sound reaching Mach 1.15 during the dive. But the aircraft cannot break through the sound barrier during the cruise flight. The M346FT is the multi-role variant of the aircraft. It is capable of switching between training and combat operations. The M346FT has a new tactical data link system and different armament capabilities. But there are no changes to the hardware. The armed variant is the M346FA. The first pre-series aircraft of this version made its first flight in July 2020. It has a Grifo M346 multi-mode fire control radar and a total of 7 hardpoints. The FA variant can carry up to 3000 kg external loads. By installing a low observability kit, Leonardo claims that the radar cross-section of the aircraft is reduced by 1 20th compared to the standard training model. The M346 FA can be fitted with a radar warning receiver, missile approach warning system and chaff and flares dispensers. The T-100 was the variant offered to the US Air Force's TX program, but the T-7 Red Hawk has won the tender. The M-346's nickname is not master in Israel and Poland, but Lavi and Bialik respectively. Azerbaijan, Egypt, Greece, Israel, Italy, Nigeria, Poland, Qatar, Singapore and Turkmenistan are the current users of the M-346. The Republic of Singapore Air Force's aircraft are based at Kazoo Air Base in France. When the partnership of the Yak AEM-130 program ended, Italy accepted to leave the Commonwealth of Independent States to Russia as a marketing zone. But interestingly, two countries of this regional intergovernmental organization have preferred the M346 over the Yak-130. The M346 has a length of 11.49 meters a wingspan of 9.72 meters and a height of 4.79 meters. The wing area of the aircraft is 23.52 square meters. Its empty weight is 4,900 kilograms and the maximum takeoff weight is 9,600 kilograms. The 
aircraft has two 28 kN Honeywell ITEC F124GA200 turbofan engines. Its top cruising speed is 1,090 km per hour. The aircraft has 2,550 km fair range. The service ceiling of the M346 is 13,716 meters, in other words, 45,000 feet. The M346 FA has a wingspan of 10.14 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of 10,500 kilograms. Let's begin to analyze the factors behind the M346's success. Today, the air forces of the world are transforming. The jet trainers designed in the 1960s are no longer keeping up with this transformation. The many primary actors in this area have not developed a new aircraft to answer this requirement. Germany, France and the UK, which created the Alpha Jet and Hawk that once competed with the MB326 and MB339 fiercely, are not offering a new jet trainer. The only Western standard rival of the M346 is the South Korean T-50. The T-7 Red Hawk is still in development. Also, these two aircraft are not actual competitors of the M346. They are the heirs of the supersonic T-38. If we look at their recent market success, we can easily see that T-50 and T-7 have generally won the tenders to replace the Talon. The M346 is the only Western alternative for the modern subsonic jet trainer in the market. Of course, the fact that it has no other rivals in the field is not the only factor in the success of this aircraft. Italy has a well-earned reputation in the jet trainer market. During the last 60 years, nearly 20 countries over 5 continents preferred the MB326 and MB339. These aircraft have not only trained the pilots, but also fought successfully. Naturally, their successes have become an excellent reference for the M346. The light attack aircraft are more practical than the state-of-art new generation fighter jet for low-intensity conflicts. They are cheap to be acquired and operated. The low-intensity conflicts do not require stealth, heavy weapon or supercruise capabilities. Today, the world needs an aircraft which can train the pilots of the highly capable fighter jets and also fight against asymmetric threats at low costs. The M346 is one of the best for this requirement. Also, in a full-scale war, the armed forces still need a light attack and close air support aircraft. The M346 is one of the aircraft that offer the most cost-effective solution for training and fighting today. Its high combat capability with low price ticket makes the M346 a good solution for newly emerged requirements. For example, Ireland, which has no fighters, is under the shadow of the Russian bomber's threat. Dublin is considering acquiring the M346, which has air-to-air -air combat capability as a low-cost solution. It's not an absurd idea. In the 1980s, the Royal Air Force used Hawks carrying sidewinders to support the tornadoes in interception rolls. Currently, alongside the T-50, the M346 Master is the best option for the training of Western jet pilots. It is also one of the most capable jet light attack aircraft. So, the M346's success in the international market is not a surprise. Soon, it will also begin to compete with other new jet trainers, which are currently under development. But the M346 will remain as one of the most powerful competitors in the market. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.